When I was eight years old, I decided that one day I wanted to work in Africa. I even competed in a speech contest and shared my plan to help bring medical care to people deep in the jungle. Those dreams were big and real and alive, but I was only eight years old. What does a little kid really know about the world anyway? I might as well have said that I wanted to be a Batman or a fireman because at some point I'd grow up, find more realistic dreams and do those instead, right? Well, sort of. As time turns forward, real life begins to seemingly get in the way of reaching those childlike dreams forged in childlike faith. We get busy, so busy. School and work, marriage and family, and bills. Lots and lots of bills. An event after event we didn't expect that push us further and further from that simple, possibly even naive, original dream. But somewhere along the way, or maybe in spite of the way, that tiny idea that beckoned so long ago roars alive again from its dormant state and refuses to be silent until we start. For me, the gap between the first idea at eight years old and the first step of the journey in Uganda lasted 19 years. In 2008, when a friend and I launched this mission experiment called Safe World, my childhood dream seemed so long ago, and yet it was still there, just waiting to be turned loose in the world. And now here we are, building our first hospital in central Uganda that will provide quality medical care to more than 10,000 people. I used to think this dream was about me, about what I could bring to the table that would be bigger and better than anyone else. But with each step along the journey, I've discovered that when I live the reality of my own story, it awakens people around me to start theirs as well. This community health project is the biggest endeavor I've ever undertaken. Most of the time it moves slower than I planned and requires constant flexibility, but it's happening. Brick by brick, it's happening. It's messy and complicated, but such is the trajectory of life. And this is how the world changes, when people give themselves fully to their calling. So we keep working, keep moving, we never give up. And one day we will look back and be amazed at how far we've come. Then we'll see how much farther we can go. I don't know how this particular chapter in my life is going to play out. I don't even know how the story is going to end. But I do know the most important part of the work we're doing right now in Uganda is to steward it well until it's time to pass the baton on to whoever's supposed to carry it next. It'll never be easy, and so far it looks quite a bit different than I ever imagined. But no matter what, each step, each mile, each relationship, each goal, it'll always be time to start.